Okay, so today's video is gonna be a little interesting. So, as everyone knows, I'm not a big fan of the pandemonium. I'm gonna text my friend who is the distributor for Envy and Fasten, and I'm gonna ask him if I could get the new uh, Raven deck, if I like the dimensions, of course. First off, I wanted to note, um, I'm kind of interested in making a second YouTube channel. Uh, one for mostly like just talking about non-scooter related stuff and stuff like that, or I have another idea. I will start double uploading. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. So one of them would be non-scooter relating at all. It would just be like interesting, weird stuff. And just things, just different things. Like, like a challenge video, like something different. But whenever there's a challenge video, you know there's definitely gonna be a scooter related content uh, somewhere in that day. So I wanna know, should I make a different channel for it or should I make, or should I just start double uploading on this channel? I really wanna know. So everybody, click the card right there. I have this deck. This deck has about 14 and a half inches of footroom. It is 21 inches long, which I like better because it's bigger for my feet. And it's a pandemonium. I know I said that this deck broke, but it did feel like it bent, but I think it might have been the forks that were bent uh, and not the deck. So I'm gonna try throwing this thing on there and... Okay. So... Uh. I've had this deck on for probably about two days, and it's just a little bit too long for me. I like how it feels, I love how it whips. It's so comfortable. Um, that's one of the things that I really liked about it, is because there's so much foot room right here. But just for like doing like buttercups and stuff like that, it feels a little weird. Uh, I might go back to this, I'm not completely sure, but I'm gonna be throwing on this to see which one I do like better because I don't know. I'm so indecisive, I just wanna know which one I would like better. Let's put it on the scooter. I got the deck off now. So now, I don't know why I took the back wheel off because I'm not even gonna use these wheels either because I think this one's broken. Time to put on the new deck, slash old deck. That's looking really cool. And this is so far looking really cool, I just gotta get rid of this wheel color. Before I figure out what grip tape I want, I think I wanna put it on different wheels because that is just clashing with the whole scooter. I found the wheels I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using Tilt Kassen wheels. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so the grip, I think I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using the tilt grip because I have red on the deck and I'm using mostly blue, but I need that extra little bit of red to match the deck. Okay, so the only thing that's gonna bother me is this white part right here. If you guys don't remember, I hydro dipped this thing and I tried to do a white first, didn't work, and now I have to color over that with the Sharpie. Okay, so I painted that part of the deck and it looks way better now that it's black and not white. All right, so time to start putting on the brake and everything like that. Okay, I know this is important for a lot of people, so. It's pretty dialed. Okay, so really quick, I had an idea. So. I'm about to head out and go get some clips at the skate park, but I had an idea, well. Wow. Okay, so I had a really good idea right now, okay. Now I had an idea, so right before I go get some clips, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tip. So what you guys can do is if you guys ever have like an old deck like this, a cool way how you can make it look almost brand new and it's like for super cheap, literally just get a Sharpie and go like this, watch. So, here's the deck. Here, let me go like this, focus. So then you go like this, and you just draw over this with a black Sharpie. If the deck is a glossy looking deck, it looks way better too. So look, already, tell me that does not look way better. And even if you want to, you can get a little bit of, you can wipe it down a little bit, blends in a lot more. You wouldn't even be able to tell that that was used. But let's keep going. Go like this, 
like that. The deck looks way better than it did look before. And literally, all I did was sharpie over things. So you don't have to wait for it to dry. It's good to go. You guys just get to go to the skate park and have your scooter looking fresh. You can buy a sharpie at like the 99 cent store too. So it's super cheap and it's really cool because yeah, it's like 99 cents. I'm gonna go to the skate park now. I'll see you guys there. So we're here at Serenity. Matthew. What's up, boy? What's up, bros? What's up? You already know. You okay? Matt was the one that told me to get these kind of wheels. He's riding the Isaac Miller wheels. Mm -hmm. So, you new know. Deck. New, new he deck. He has a new deck, by the way. He has the freaking quadrum. quadrums. The quadrum. The quadrum deck. Proto broke, boys, so, you know, we had to pull out the new deck. Yeah, so he got that. I got this. He told me to get the tilt wheels. He said they're fire, so I'm trying them out. But anyways, for right now, I'm going to go to uh, the GoPro. Um, I'm gonna try to get a different angle today, and I might I'm gonna start off like how I did up before so Okay, so that was a nice First try flare Dude, this deck. It feels so nice. Okay, so I tried switching some things around so I'm, I switched this to this so now it shoots up more when you triple I didn't pop. Oh, okay, that hurt. I have like the psychiest heel bruise because I never let it heal. Okay. Huh. I have like really bad heel bruise. I need to fix that. I need to actually let my heel heal. Huh. Get it? Heel heel. Huh. That was pretty, that was freaking clever. I always am in this spot, so I need to ride something different. Um, I'm going to bri flip the quarter to bank. First try. Oh, that was awkward. Yo, Matt, should I hit that rail? I will. I think I can do it though. Oh, I got it. Okay, come on. I got that. There we go with bar. Rifle bin. I did it. Pretty sure I can hurricane it. So I'm gonna try to do that. The only thing is I suck at turning out of hurricanes. Hit that shit. All right, hurricane, what should I do in the line? Try to front fry this. Run bright. Okay, I can't do that. Ah! I started. Woo! I did it! Somewhat. Everybody, click the like button if you guys want me to jump this. I think that'd be pretty sick. If we get 1K likes, I will 360 it. That'd be sick. So, squash the like button. Butter. Buttercup. I want to get a couple clips on my normal camera. So, let's switch over to there. Are good? Yep. Yeah, I know. Thanks, man. I'll be done. Get it. I'm going to get on your sash. Steve. Ready, Matt? Yes. Are you ready? Right that party last night. Get on the vlog, bro. You're gonna be famous for my little kids. No way. That was so bad. Ooh, flare to 50. Steve's trying to flare to 50 out here. I guess so. already know. That's how good he is, boys and girls. Oh my gosh. Yep. Thanks, Matt, for filming. I think I'm just gonna finish up the session, not really try too many harder things. That didn't really make any sense, did it? See you guys at home. So I'm here at Scooter Zone, and I'm right now realizing the powers of color correcting. So I'm gonna put a play a clip of a clip not color corrected and a clip of me color correcting it, kind of. Buttercup. I'm still fairly new to it, so don't be super critical. Uh, 
I still need to get adjustments like the saturation where it looks better So it always helps me if you guys comment down below and tell me if it's like oversaturated or anything like that So make sure to comment down below give me some positive feedback by the way I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the title so um, This has always been something that I've always done to my scooter So if I had a black deck I'd always just sharpie over it and it just looked way better and it just looked brand new again. Um, and the best thing about doing this with Sharpies is that Sharpie has endless amount of colors. They have like basically every color on the color wheel. So if you guys have like the candy prodigy all the way to like an oil slick, you can find the correct color with the Sharpie and then you can just Sharpie over it and it looks perfect. 